All right, he slowed down for us now. So now at least we can do our police escort and not get in trouble for the car self-driving. So you can still see that even going through these lights, I'm confirming the green um, chime sound worked really well. And look at that, as that went orange to red, the car braked very nicely and stopped perfectly for us. And now we've lost our police escort again. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Before we get into today's video, I just want to debunk a couple of myths. There was a news article going around that apparently I had been warned and spoken to by the police. That's completely false. They haven't spoken to me about anything. I'm not sure where that article came from. But yeah, I'm absolutely fine. The problem is with me at the moment, I have a medical condition. As you guys know, I have the shakes and I have essential tremors and EPD. Uh, that's been stopping me making these videos and film recently. So I really apologize about that. Anyway, welcome to 2020.36.10 and we've got a brand new update. Now skip to this part of the film or the video now if you want to skip all of this i'm just going to read all this out to you and go over it this is actually a huge huge update and there's a lot to go through so let's start off with this traffic light and stop sign control in beta traffic light and stop sign control is designed to recognize and respond to traffic lights and stop signs slowing your car to a stop when using traffic aware cruise control or auto steer this feature will slow the car for all dedicated traffic lights including green blinking yellow and off lights as your car approaches an intersection your car will indicate the intention to slow down via a notification slow down and stop to the red light shown on the driving visualization so it will stop for every single light no matter what it is showing interesting to continue through the stop line push down the gear selector once which is down here or briefly press the accelerator pedal to confirm that it is safe to proceed as with all autopilot features you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action including braking because this feature may not stop for all traffic controls this feature will be conservative slow down often at first and will attempt to turn through intersections and will not attempt to turn through intersections apologies for that over time as we learn from the fleet the feature will control more naturally Naturally. To enable, shift your car into park, controls, autopilot, traffic light, controls, autopilot, traffic light, yes, here we go, we can turn this one on, and then again we get the exact same thing here, so it's going to stop for absolutely everything, uh, and then we've got this green traffic light chime, a chime will play when the traffic light you are waiting for turns green, if you're waiting behind another car, the chime will play when the car advances, unless traffic aware cruise control or autopilot is active, okay, well we might as well turn that on, we'll give that a go as well today, let's see what else is in this update, uh, stop sign and stop light warning. It will warn you in some cases if it detects that you're about to run a stop sign or stop light while auto steer is in use. Okay, this is not a substitute for an alternative driver. No, we know that. Gr uh, green light traffic, uh, green traffic light chime is what we just did. And then the speed assist improvements came in the last update. And what's that, sweetheart? I think it's dead. What, the camera? Yeah. No, the screen just turns off on GoPros after about 30 seconds. See, it's back on now. Right, can I just finish talking to the audience? Can I finish talking to the audience? No. Speed Assist now leverages your car's cameras to detect speed signs to improve the accuracy of speed limit data on local roads. And I've got to say, I have used this because this came in an update last week. Really quite good. Not the best, but really quite good. So as we come up here to our first roundabout, obviously nothing has changed for roundabouts. These here are um, basically zebra crossings, but as you saw, it didn't show anything for the zebra crossings there. That's something that's going to be needed to be added uh, for a UK version. Now down this road, there is actually a very interesting... Oh, here we go. Okay, there's no one behind me. Ah, here we go. Stopping for traffic control in 600 feet, 400 feet. Use accelerator. So I've used accelerator now. You can see it's green and it will take us straight through there. Sometimes it dips to the left here for some reason. No, it didn't do it that time. That was awesome. So it just worked perfectly. What we've got here coming up is a brand new 20 gate. Oh, stopping for traffic light again. So this brand new 20 gate here is actually only due to the COVID restrictions. And we're going to see, does it see it? Yes, it does see it. And again, it is slowing itself down for that. It may be slowing itself down for the traffic light as well. Yeah, you can see. So I'm going to use the... Oh, okay. So I actually shifted up that time and that's incorrect. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have shifted up there. I should have actually shifted down. So that's something that I need to get used to. And again, don't forget, it won't turn right at traffic lights or anything like that. This has changed. Look how how beautiful the green glow is on the traffic lights now. That looks awesome. Previously, it didn't look quite as bright and as shiny as that. So I, I like the update that they've done there. And again, here, as we go into this, it's asking us to confirm. So I've confirmed. And what, okay, now we're going through a 30 gate again. 
So what I missed there, there's so much going on to talk about, is that 20 was actually for that whole road, but because the car didn't see another 20 sign, and on the GPS it knows it's a 30, it went back to 30 even though it was in a 20. So that's just one, one show there where sometimes it doesn't kind of remember and it, it just goes back to, to 30, which in some cases wouldn't be great. Stop thing for traffic control again here, and we actually do need to stop for traffic control this time, so we'll let the car do all of it and see how well it does. Okay, so now it's going to green. The, oh, you hear that? The car chimed. I've put the accelerator on and now it has gone straight through that red, red, uh, green light. And again here, it's chimed, it's braking, but I need to brake anyway for this car in front. And then the car is continuing on forward. That This, <laughs> this is working really, really well. Okay, we've got more traffic lights coming up here and we're gonna see if the car will stop. Yes, sweetheart. I went past somewhere where you were naughty. There we go. Autopilot unable to proceed. Now, I think this is because of the corner. It's unable to proceed, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's because it was on a corner. It wasn't able to proceed on its own. Coming up to some more red lights here. And again, it's saying that it's stopping for the traffic light control. This is working really well, guys. And this is showing nicely. It's showing a person there. It's showing that it's the pickup truck in front. Now, it's a red light quite far ahead. Let's see what we have to do here. I would assume... Okay, stopping for traffic control in 200 feet. So now, do I have to tell it to go now? Or will it go now? Or do I need to tell it when it gets closer to the green light? I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Yeah, okay, so it is actually going to stop for these lights. So I do need to just confirm it myself. Interesting. So it's not going to flow... <clears throat> it's not going to flow with the traffic uh, just yet. It still does need you to confirm for everything. Okay. So we're going on to a slight laned roundabout here which also has lights on it. And again, I'm presuming the car's not gonna be too happy with it because of the corner. Uh, let's see what it says here. It says stopping for traffic lights. I would like these traffic, aha, here we go, perfect. There you go, you can see that they've gone amber or yellow and the car here coming up behind this truck nicely. So this gap for me, for example, is way too big. You can see that there's a car almost could fit in that gap. There's a red light, that's right, sweetheart. So I'm gonna put that to one. And sadly, as we go to one, the car hasn't actually got any closer. Uh, maybe next time it will. Stop at the red light. Okay, sweetheart. Okay, we're back onto a 20 road here and the car is stopping for these green lights. But it'll, obviously it doesn't. Oh, oh, interesting. It was actually stopping twice there. So it was stopping for the first load of lights and then it decided to almost stop for the second load of lights, which would have been a little bit dangerous if I'm being honest. Again here, stopping for these green lights. So I'm gonna push the accelerator to go on through it nice and early but here look at this there is an absolute cluster of lights is it going to go through the second set of lights which aren't even on or is it going to slam on here i'm a little bit nervous absolutely nothing went through them perfectly that was brilliant that was really really good so this is still a 20 but you can see it's gone straight to 30 but you can see the sign over there on the left clearly says it's a 20 uh, but it's only done this because like i said before this normally is a 30 on the gps it actually didn't see that um, sign at all and it didn't change it back to a 20. so again like i said it can be a little bit hit and miss sometimes uh, and then we're coming up to a stop again for this green light but we are turning left so i need to take it off autopilot and steer it left myself like that so again here this road is a 30 uh, normally, but it is a 20 right now. The car still thinks it's a 30. The lines are atrocious because the Hereford Council did an awful job uh, trying to fix this road recently. So you can see there I picked up that 20 sign and now it's following the 20. And again, stopping for this green light, but we'll just continue on through it. And that worked quite nicely. This is, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Next up, we're gonna try and find a stop sign. I believe there's one stop sign here in Hereford, which is just on the left. So I'm gonna go give it a whirl here. Uh, there's no one behind us. And again, we're gonna come up to these traffic lights. You can see it's picking up all these bollards. It's picking up loads of cars. As we come up again to these lights, it's going to chime. So obviously it's gone green, so it's chimed for us, but it is just coming to a stop anyway. But I have to take it off here because of autopilot's restrictions with turning. Okay, yes, there is. There is a stop sign at the end of this road. This is a 20 as per that sign. Okay, let's see. Yes, yeah, stopping for traffic control. Wow, can it really see that stop sign that far away? Or does it know that there's a stop sign there? I wonder. All right, let's see it stop then for this stop sign because we do obviously, uh, we do need, to, do need to stop and I'll let this lady pass anyway. Uh, so there you go. It stopped nicely, very far away from the stop sign. 
Uh, as you probably saw, that was incredibly far away from the stop sign. Actually, no, I'll just continue going this way. Uh, that was really, really far away from the stop sign. So that needs to kind of, I guess, recalibrate itself so that it is uh, nice and close because that was too far away. There doesn't say that there was any improvements to things like steering around corners and that kind of stuff in this update. However, someone on Twitter did message me and say, my car is now steering around corners way nicer than before and ones that it previously couldn't even do itself. So it's okay, that, I, that BMW is slightly coming over, but it was, yeah, there's a football pitch, I know. Um, so that's that, that was pretty cool. Again, it's telling us that we need to accelerate for this green light, so we've accelerated through it. And we're gonna take the car left here because there's a very tight corner that I did actually last night and it wasn't able to do. So I'm really excited to see, is it gonna do this corner? It is an incredibly tight corner and I'm gonna be doing it at 20 miles an hour. What is the car gonna do here? It had a little bit of a fit and aborted yesterday. Now it will, it will, it, it will, it will, it's done it. I mean, it was a little bit hit and miss, it, like it was a little bit jumpy, but it did the corner nicely. You're also noticing, hopefully, that it's picking up a lot of people, loads of people. Does it pick up this stop sign on the floor? No, it didn't pick up the bus stop on the floor there. All right, let's see how it does this corner as well, because this corner can be pretty tight, especially if cars are on our side of the road. Yes, it's, oh, yeah, it's been able to do that corner. Honestly, it's never done that corner before um, without me having to, to take take some sort of control to it. It's okay, car. I know, I know. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. I don't know what, what the car was having a fit about there, but it was not happy that I was going around these cars. This is something that obviously the Tesla is gonna have to learn to do because especially in the UK, we have so many people here parked on the side of the roads. So one thing I did have a think about with these um, speed signs was I was actually following a car that had a huge sticker on the back of it saying this car is restricted to 68 miles per hour. And I wondered, will my car see that sign and change itself to 68 miles per hour? Um, so that's something that I wanna test. If you wanna see those kind of tests, let me know uh, and I will give them a whirl sooner rather than later. Uh, let's go straight across here because I think those kind of things could be a pretty cool test to see. And we could just kind of trick the car and see on private roads what speed the car says it will happily go to uh, on its own. But things like this, obviously the car's got to learn to kind of give way uh, and then go at the, the right time. I would hope that the car wouldn't try and squeeze through these areas either, uh, but that's something that obviously we're gonna find out in future stages. Stopping for traffic control, okay. Okay, that's cool. So I don't know if you guys have that in America. I have not, I didn't see that earlier. And I didn't know that was a thing. My, this thing is beeping at me loads. But that said there, it was actually stopping at this give way. So maybe the car has actually got give ways programmed into it. It's just not activated yet. So let's try it again here real quick. And I just wanna see if the car, more traffic lights up ahead. And as you can see here, it's already saying that it can see it and it's gonna stop for us. So let's see how this works as we come up to this set. Now, in theory, it shouldn't matter if it takes the right-hand lane, and the right-hand lane is the one we want to be in. Perfect, it's taken it. And where does it think this red light is? Wow, that is brilliant, guys. I think we've just witnessed something huge there. The car went around onto the correct lane to then turn right, and it went around a car and stopped at pretty much the exact same spot that that other car had stopped, which was perfect. Really, really happy with that. Stopping for traffic control in 300, 200 feet. You see that? That is what I'm talking about. So it's actually stopping, but it didn't stop. And instead, it just came, like, it just aborted at the last second. 
See, that's, that's what I mean about these, like when it says it's stopping for traffic control or if it's stopping for, sorry, not traffic control, if it's stopping for yield, it doesn't actually seem to stop. It just kind of goes straight through it. Let's try that one more time. Yes, sweetheart, daddy did say all of that. Okay, it's not working for this road here. It knows that it's a stop though. So can I put it on really close? Is it, yes, okay, so it will stop. Stopping for control. But then it aborts. What is that about? Why did, so it aborted and it put on the uh, the warning lights, even though it came to a stop that it knew was there? Kind of strange. Let's try it again here. So let's see what it says. Are you gonna stop for this one? No, you're not, Jeep it. Okay, so actually, this isn't a 60. Where did it get 60 from? I think it's reading that sign over there, which means 60. And I think it got a little bit confused by that. All right, so here we go again. We're coming up to some more lights. The car can hopefully see them. Yeah, nice and early on. And let's see how close it stops to this line, shall we? Oh my gosh, right over it. It was actually going straight over the line because it wanted to stop where the traffic lights were themselves. And if you saw that on here, you could see it. It thinks it should stop further on where really it needs to stop further back. The car still can't go over the bridge, by the way. I'm just, I don't even try it anymore. I just know that it won't work. Whoa, dude, okay. On your phone, he was on his phone on my side of the road. Go back and look at that footage. He was on his phone swerving onto our side of the road. That's awful, that is. Um, okay, as you can see, uh, it's read the speed signs, but it's not going up to 40. That's not necessarily a big problem. And we're gonna come up to another roundabout here, and I just wanna see what it does again at this roundabout. Is it going to stop? Is it going to say anything? Or is it just going to go straight on over it? Waiting for something. It knows where the end of roads are. It knows where roundabouts are, but no, we're getting... Oh, it is slowing down. It is slowing down for the roundabout. Okay. So it's slowing all the way down to 15 miles an hour before you get to a roundabout. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that was fluke because I've not that had that happen to me before, but that actually worked relatively well yeah I was quite quite happy with how that worked so there we are everyone there is a real quick overview of this brand new update I know it's not massively in detail or anything like that and I haven't been able to find lots of specific use cases the reason for that is my daughter is in the car and I promised her we're gonna take her to this pirate ship and uh, you're probably gonna hear in a second her shout about this pirate ship here we go look this is a 10 mile an hour speed limit what's it showing yes it is showing 10 miles an hour and as we go through it it is following that sign that is pretty good that is really good actually okay we need to come down here pirate ship where is the pirate ship i know how exciting you're so excited you just can't hide it yeah, we're gonna slide down that pirate ship. Daddy's gonna be a pirate in a minute. You can see there, it's picking up the guy over, over ahead of us. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, not too bad. So there we are, everybody. 2020.36.10. Finally, the UK is being brought up to, I didn't see that cone that it thought was there. Uh, the UK is finally being brought up to the standards that the US, Canadians, etc., etc., all have and I absolutely love it. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Loads more videos to come soon. I need to get that sorted. Until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget, drive safe. You ready? Are you so excited? Come on.